Next on the docket is a very enthusiastic Jesse Owens, who's like, do I have to be on camera? <laughs> We're like, yes, you do, because you're awesome. So what are you going to share about the Crystal River National Wildlife Refuge today? Uh, today I'm going to share with you guys just some tips and tricks on if you are here recreating and happen to come around a manatee, if you're swimming or kayaking, just some little tips to help you and the manatee enjoy your experience together. So um, we'll start out with the, the kayaking, obviously, um, if, or even boating. Um, very important here in this area, it's all slow speed in Kings Bay. Um, just be very uh, mindful of where you're traveling and look for those signs that, you know, of a manatee that are going in and out of Crystal River and going out to the, the ocean to eat, or out to the Gulf, um, excuse me, to eat and then coming back in here. So, um, you know, the telltale signs when they come up for a breath, their little noses coming up, you can sometimes hear them. Um, and then their, their footprint, if you will, that we call it. And it's just kind of like a circular print that is left by the, um, by the tail when the manatee's moving. So just kind of some tips and tricks to kind of keep an eye on them. But, and obviously uh, when you're kayaking, you can see those too. Um, when you're kayaking, you're going a little bit slower. So most likely you're not gonna injure a manatee. But um, you don't want, you still don't want to disturb them if they're eating or if they're sleeping. And if they're sleeping and you accidentally go over them, you could scare them and they might actually tip you over and you can end up swimming if you didn't want to. <laughs> um, so just kind of um, be mindful. Um, around the island here, I'm not sure if you guys are going to get to see it, but like um, this is Parker Island. And we actually have some manatees out in this area. There's some coming up for breast. There's one kind of along the shoreline that looks like it's kind of munching along there straight across. Um, so again, I'm not sure that you guys can see that, but if you do and you come up on it on a kayak or anything, it's a little bit murkier here. So just kind of, you back up, you give them their space, you know, put your paddle up to where you're not, you don't have it in the water um, and just enjoy. If you have a lunch, break out your lunch and eat it too and just enjoy lunch together. So, um, but just give them a little bit of space. If the manatee does come up to your kayak or up underneath it and you've already been there sitting um, and you're not moving, don't worry about it. Don't try and get out of its way. Don't, uh, don't, you know, get nervous or anything like that. The manatee knows you're there at that point. So just kind of let it go and do whatever it wants. And it's probably just going to think that you're just like a log or something. Um, or sometimes they, they get interested in, in kayaks. I'm not sure if they think it's another form of a manatee and they want to hang out with them, but, um, enjoy the experience and just kind of let them do as they want. Um, and that kind of leads into the whole swimming with manatees. So if you're swimming with manatees, um, or if you're, you happen to be swimming and a manatee happens to come up upon you, um, it, just some really simple tricks um, or tips, if you will, that will, will help you and the manatee enjoy your experience together, especially since you're in their home. Um, be respectful of the manatee. If you see a manatee, go ahead and freeze and float. You want to try and stay at the surface of the water. And I kind of do this. You don't need a super manet, but you know, just kind of out to the side, just nice and calm at the surface of the water. If you have a flotation device that helps out tremendously because you don't have to, you know, tread water or skull, if you will. Um, and you're not dipping your feet or accidentally kicking them because manatees are sneaky and ninjas. And sometimes they like to sneak up on you and your toes. So always just remember if you see one manatee, there may be another one around or just because it swims off doesn't mean it's not going to circle back around you especially if it decides that it's interested in you so nice and calm surface of the water don't go out um, if it's eating or sleeping you don't want to reach out and trying to disturb it or anything like that again you just want to do that freeze and float and let the manatee decide what the interaction is going to be or if it's interested in you and some of them I like to explain um, kind of personalities of a cat um, that if you're sitting there and you see a cat and you're like, oh, hey kitty, how you doing? The cat will be like, oh, okay, you're friendly, you look calm, let me come up to you. And then you're like, oh, hi kitty, and you try and pet it, and then it's like, no, that's not what I wanted, and it'll swim away. <laughs> well, you don't want, you just ruined your experience. So just kind of, you know, like I said, let the cat or the manatee decide the interaction. Some manatees, um, you know, just like a cat, you know, they'll be in the same room as you and you look at them and they're like, oh no, and they run away. And then some manatees, you know, again, just like cats are just like, you know, all on you. So again, but it's just one of those things where you let them kind of decide the interaction and that's gonna really help your experience and their experience. Um, and it's just gonna be positive for both of you there. So again, uh, the pro prohibitions, some of them are, you know, don't dive. Oh, you got a little turtle here hanging out. He wants to, oh. oh. Goodness. Sneaky, <laughs> he got, sneaky. He got camera shy. He did. Um, 
they don't want to uh, you don't want to dive on a resting or feeding manatee you don't want to disturb them especially those cow and calves even if they're they seem like they're floating at the surface of the water they are still resting or if that calf looks like it's biting underneath the flipper that's a, a baby manatee nursing and so that's a very special experience please you know watch it look it but you know keep your distance and be mindful that that um that is a mom and baby and they need to have that space and that bond bonding time so just you know normal things that if, if you wouldn't want someone coming up to you and, and you know disturbing you while you're eating well they don't want it either so uh just just be mindful and you'll have a great experience with, for you and the manatee and then for for people to come that's awesome so, yeah. and you know they hear a lot about boat like these poor little manatees get injured by boats so again they said a problem in the summer or you know or when people come through any time of the year when the manatees are here mm -hmm. um, they get hit by boats so if you rent a boat like you said again so tell me just a quickly a briefly again if you rent a boat and you're not familiar with the area what do you how do you oh look at there that is one I don't know there. if you heard the the exhale you can hear that little exhale. yes I know you did. That's why you yeah. kind of panned over there. Nice. There's They're a like right in that little there. circular area. I I, I'm you pretty can sure see. that's its footprint. From there, well, from there, yeah, that's where the little nose just came up, and it may have kicked off a bit. Um, and it's just kind of it's munching along in that I little swear, area. I swear, right I want to just jump right in and go swim over there, but I won't <laughs> because I'm a respectful trap visitor. <laughs> There's so. nothing wrong with being excited and um, and yeah. wanting to see manatees. It's just one thing that you just kind of you you let it happen. You don't make yeah, it happen. Yeah, right. Yep. So I'm a Minnesota girl, and I'm like, oh, I could go swim in here, but you know, but I would. The water's probably a lot clearer than you're used to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But, um, um, okay, so yeah, with the boat. So watch for the footprint, um, listen for the sound. Um, I heard that people stand at the top of the boat to look ahead of them, like, hey, this guy's doing right to absolutely. watch. So, yeah, that's a good at, example. At the bow of the boat, um, typically you'll have someone kind of standing at, at the front. It's like we cued um, that. And, and that helps because he's like, oh, look, there's something going there. Sometimes they can spot fish that way too, and he may be looking for fish. No, he's so, looking for manatees because he's a responsible traveler. There we go. He's totally looking for manatees, yes. and that manatee just went off to the side. But he is. Um, you know, if, if you have someone, absolutely enjoy it. You know, um, enjoy your, your company that's there, but, but have someone that is trying to be mindful and just really look at, at the area and where you are because you know, manatees can go wherever they want. They don't have um, a particular pattern or a particular path. Um, some of them are, are pretty habitual with, you know, the paths that they take, but I mean, this this is not caged or anything like that. This is right. all open water and, and a manatee gets to do what it wants. 